Is your job what you hoped it would be when you got it? Quite quickly, you realize that you need something extra, something that fulfills your need for independence and creativity. For me, I achieved that freedom through writing fiction. But before I go into what fiction can bring you, I want to tell you a story that I think will resonate. You know, when you get your job in law, consulting or finance, you think you've arrived. You've put in all the hard work, got the grades, got the internship, got the job offer. And now you heap all these hopes and expectations onto the job that you'll be able to use all your abilities. You'll get wealthy. You'll work hard, but that doesn't matter because you'll also play hard. When I started in corporate law, I spent the first month proofreading. Imagine a windowless box room and going through loan agreements from start to finish over and over for hours every day. And it didn't get much better after that. My manager used to ask me to print his documents off for him and one day this reached a crescendo. He wanted it hole punched, horizontal, double paged with a specific amount of margin. It was like a very elaborate Starbucks order and I just couldn't get it right. I got it wrong three times and he wouldn't let it go. Now from a distance this sounds funny and I may have been naive at the time but it makes quite an impression when you invest so much imagination into what a job can bring you. But the solution for me came that evening. I started the book called Barbarian Days and on the first page there was a quote. He had almost forgotten the barbaric days when thinking was like a splash of colour landing on a page. For me, the sentence was a big, generous invitation. It called out to my creative, soulful side, the part of me that I considered the most valuable but which was going to waste at work. My response was to write stories. Each day in my suit I would go to a cafe and that became my time, my place. I could write about whatever I wanted to explore and there was no hierarchy, it was completely up to me to decide. This is how I asserted my value, my originality, my belief that I had something unique to say. I had always had that feeling but I could sense it slipping away in the day-to-day -day grind of frustrated expectations. When I started my writing practice, nothing external could undermine that sense of self-worth or connection to what is meaningful anymore. I'm not telling you to quit your job or have unrealistic expectations about work, especially near the start of your career journey. What I am saying is, at all times, you can take charge of what your life signifies. When you're feeling low, undervalued, ordinary at work or anywhere else, your creative pursuit can become your place of freedom. Now it's time for a quick action to make this real. Find a quote, a story, an image or a physical place that provides you with both excitement and reassurance that can serve as a reliable gateway to who you are and how you want to live. Writing fiction can do this for you. If you enjoyed this video, I release a new one every Friday evening UK time. You can subscribe. I'd also love to hear from you, so please like or comment. I'm especially interested in hearing what writing fiction has brought to your life. See you next time.